Good morning friends. Welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you are new. I am Denise and this morning we are going to start cleaning the produce that I bought yesterday. So in here I have water. This container is about half full. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of vinegar. I'm going to put my strawberries in here and we are going to let them soak for two minutes. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the blackberries, let them soak for two minutes, and the blueberries, let them soak for two minutes. So I'll see you in about ten minutes. Okay, all my berries have wa been washed. I had them laying here on this kitchen towel to dry off a little bit. And what I'm going to do with the blackberries and blueberries is put them on this pan and flash freeze them. And then I can use them for my smoothies. Get them layered all evenly the strawberries I'll just cut them up and we'll eat them fresh Okay, I'll take these down to the freezer in a little bit. But for now, I missed a blueberry. For now, I'm going to do up these strawberries. Glass container. Always use a glass when it comes to storing produce. I'm just going to be cutting the ends off and cutting them into quarters. Ooh, this is a nice big one. Okay, now all our produce is taken care of, I believe. So I will bring you back for the next thing. Okay, my next project is to make seasoned oyster crackers. We're going to take a break from the pretzels. So here I have two 10 ounce packages of oyster crackers. And this is the Aldi brand. And now I need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. A half a teaspoon of dill weed. And a half a teaspoon of lemon pepper. and a package of ranch seasoning mix, which is three tablespoons. Give all these spices a quick Stir together. Now I'm going to pour three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil onto the crackers. I'm going to get them well coated in the oil. It says to do this in a paper bag, but 
I just do it in a bowl and get it all mixed together. So now them are coated in the oil. I'm going to sprinkle the seasoning on it. And we're going to stir it again. And now I'm just going to leave these sit here and periodically I will stir them. And we just want that oil to get absorbed. So these are done, except for drying out now. These are a big hit with my husband. So I'll bring you back for the next project. Okay, our seasoned oyster crackers have dried out. So I'm just going to taste one. They're good. I'm going to put the lid on this. And these will be ready for snapping. Okay, now I am going to make a homemade cream soup mix. So I need two cups of instant non-fat dry milk powder. These come in little packets. I did not know that. One pack is a cup. So there is our two cups of dry, non-fat milk. And then we need 10 tablespoons of cornstarch, which is a half of a cup plus an eighth of a cup. Here is our half. And our eighth. And then we need a half a cup of mashed potato flakes. Then we need a quarter cup of chicken bouillon granules. And then it calls for vegetable, dry vegetable flakes, but I couldn't find any, so we can do without, the recipe says. And then I need a teaspoon of onion powder. A quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And 
and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Sprinkle some in here. And now we have to blend this all together real good. Looks like everything is well combined. Now we're going to put it in this mason jar. Okay, now when we need to make our cream of soup, we need to use six, six tablespoons of this to one and a third cups of water. So I will make sure I put that on the label on here. And now we have homemade cream soup mix. Okay, now I'm going to put together a taco seasoning. I need four tablespoons of chili powder. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. This will act as a thickening agent when we use it. Two tablespoons of cumin. And two tablespoons of smoked paprika, but I just have regular. So that's what I'll use. And the tablespoon of kosher salt. But I'm gonna do between half and three quarters of regular old salt. And then I need two teaspoons of garlic powder and onion powder. And then two teaspoons of oregano. A teaspoon of black pepper. And a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now we're going to give this a mix. Okay, I couldn't find a mason jar 
bigger than this one. So I'm just going to reuse this jar. And if you hear a lawnmower, it's because my husband is outside mowing lawn. have a delicious homemade taco seasoning. And this should be good for a year it says. We'll go through that before a year is up. Okay now I'm going to make a ranch seasoning mix. So I need two tablespoons of parsley. and two tablespoons of dill and four teaspoons of garlic powder I'm doubling this recipe because I use a lot of ranch seasoning. And four teaspoons of onion powder. One teaspoon of salt. and two teaspoons of black pepper. We're going to give this all a good mix. And now we have our homemade ranch seasoning mix. And this is good for a year in this jar, but I know it won't last that long. So there's another one. Okay, now the last seasoning mix I'm going to make is homemade chili seasoning. So I need two tablespoons of chili powder. Two tablespoons of paprika. that up. Two tablespoons of oregano. And two tablespoons of cumin. One teaspoon of garlic powder. and one teaspoon of onion powder I don't know if you can hear it or not but Miss Sophie is laying over there in the sun snoring away I'm going to 
going to give this a good mix and put it in a jar. And when I want to make chili, two tablespoons equals one of those packets. And it will be good probably for a year because all them other ones are. Okay. I'm excited to have all these mixes done up homemade versus the store-bought ones. So that's all of the mixes I'm going to do for today. Okay, now I'm going to get some breakfast sandwiches made. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I got nine, or no, six croissants that I'm going to make into scrambled egg ham and cheese sandwiches. So since they're croissants, and a bigger piece of bread than an English muffin. I'm gonna scramble nine eggs. I'm gonna put some milk in there. About a quarter cup. Scramble these up. Salt, pepper, and I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable oil in here. To grease up the pan. Smear this around the entire bottom and the sides. Pour these eggs in here. This is about an 8 by 11 pan. And now when the oven's preheated, I'm going to put these in until they're done. It'll probably take 20 to 30 minutes. So I will bring you back at that point. Okay, my eggs are done. I took them out of the oven a few minutes ago to cool down a little bit. Perfectly cooked scrambled eggs. So, I'm going to cut it down the middle. And then into three pieces the other way. Okay, so now I'm going to make our sandwich. Got a piece of parchment paper here. Put a piece of cheese on it. And I'm going to use up the last of this cherry wood smoked ham that I had purchased and was in the freezer. And 
a piece of egg then I'm going to wrap it in parchment paper so that way when we eat one of these and pop it in the microwave we can do it right in the parchment paper and I'll put it in a Ziploc baggie and then we'll go down into the freezer. I'm going to get these all done and then I'll be back. Okay, my breakfast sandwiches have cooled completely. They are down in the freezer. So now I thought I would make my smoothies for you again today. Getting a lot of new subscribers and viewers. So I thought I would do it again. I put about a half a cup of Greek yogurt in here. About a tablespoon or two of honey. And about a cup of milk. And then I'm going to add some frozen banana chunks. and frozen raspberries. These have been in the freezer, so I use them up. And my blackberries that I just froze earlier. And blueberries. I never measure anything, I just Put it in and now I'm going to blend this up. And it's going to need more milk. That looks like a good smoothie consistency. And these are the glasses I bought at the Dollar Tree last spring. And I fill up four of them for my work week. That way I only have to make this mess one time. And it never has to be at four in the morning. Well, that is why I do this on a weekend basis. And I'll fill them up. And these will go down in the freezer until I head out for work in the morning. And then I'll take one with me. And I'll be able to drink on it for the next few hours. After it thaws, of course. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to whip up another batch. And then these are going to go down into the freezer. Okay, my four smoothies are made for the upcoming work week. So we got our smoothies done. We got breakfast croissant sandwiches down in the freezer. We made three or four pantry seasoning mixes so we don't have to buy those and made some seasoned pretzels. I think I had a very productive day. I'd like to thank you for spending this time with me in the kitchen. If you enjoy this kind of content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube family. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.